Hello everyone, my name is Jan Cole and welcome to another video. So guys, today is the Celtic review against RB Leipzig. And the, th the, th the thing is, this is, this is the, the, the difficult part about it is we're not even playing bad. Um, we didn't even play bad tonight. We of course lost again and it's, it's stupid mistakes. It's not taking their chances. Leipzig did, um, and there's there's so so many changes that we need to make to the team. I believe um, first things first, we can forget about Europe because I've I've said it I've said it from the start from match day one for both Celtic and Rangers. Is Celtic and Rangers are no longer Champions League teams. We. You know, we would play in Europa League and that was a good level for both of us. Both done pretty well, got a good, good performances, good results. And I believe if Celtic and Rangers were in the Europa League, they would have a very, very good chance of both of us going through. But, you know, there's uh, the result tonight is meant our Champions League campaign is over for at least another year. And, you know, it's... It's, 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 I'm kind of lost for words to be honest, but I knew, I knew it wasn't going to be an easy, I knew it wasn't going to be an easy group. I've not said from the beginning, I said, I was saying today in work, I, re I really hope that I was wrong, but I did have a feeling we were going to lose tonight. And because I knew, I know what we've been like the last couple of games, it took us 95 minutes to beat St. John, to fully beat St. Johnson. And we almost dropped two points on Saturday, and results like that aren't good enough. And performances are great, but there's so so many changes we need to make. Some of the substitutions tonight were baffling, to say the least. In my eyes, I wouldn't have took off Haksabanovic. I thought he looked fine. I thought he played played brilliant, and I don't know why Mieda got to play as long as he did. Kyogo. I think Kyogo did okay. He did. He did have a few chances. He had. He did miss a few, but he did put in the effort. I thought James Forrest when he came on. I thought he did okay tonight. I, f I feel James Forrest can do a job, and especially in the Scottish League, he needs to get more game time. And we need to. We need to, to not be scared to to drop a few players, and that's that's what I noticed tonight. Without shot out in the wing, we we have to then go with with Maida. <coughs> and this season, I don't think Maida has been up up for it. I don't think he's good enough this season. Last season, he was he was brilliant, but this season, he's he's done nothing. He's offered us nothing. He gets the ball down the wing, and he's got all the space and all the time in the world, and he tries to cross it and it goes out of play. And it's. It's honestly baffling. Some some of the chances some of the chances we had, but there's there's, there's no excuse why we didn't score. We should have at least had a goal. I know they, we said last season Leipzig aren't a great team. They they are beatable. They showed tonight they they were beatable, and uh, as again, it's not the fact that no like. Leipzig were the better. We gave Leipzig the opportunity to, to beat us and it was our own mistakes that led to goals. It was no creating chances and Leipzig done exactly what they had to do and we didn't and that's why we've, we've took nothing from a game and yet again for two consecutive games we've lost and it's it's not good enough. It's, it really isn't. It's, it is, it is a tough to take, but I knew it wasn't going to be easy this, this season. Uh, we need we need to beat you. We need to beat Shakhtar Donetsk, Donetsk next. We just threw with Real Madrid, and it took Real Madrid ninety five minutes to get an equaliser. So I know it's not going to be easy against Shakhtar, but we had at home. Uh, we played them away, and they were a very very good side. We need to hope that Real Madrid can do the job against Leipzig. We need to beat Shakhtar Donetsk. And 
that in hope that Leipzig beat them in hopes to get Europa League but if we don't win against Shakhtar in two, in two weeks time our European hopes will be over for this season you know we've got Motherwell um, on Wednesday and in the cup chance to go to Hamden we've got Hibs on Saturday we've got big games coming up and then you know we'll play next weekend as well and then we've got Shakhtar at home and we'll eventually play Real Madrid away from home and it's it's not going to be an easy couple of weeks for us but Shot are missing tonight, we really did miss him we're missing McGregor, there's no denying it we've, we've got such a strong team but we are missing um, McGregor, he's, he's a clinical, clinical part I believe it should be Alan Moy to step up or, or Oliver Abelgaard they should be stepping up in, in defensive midfield but it's not it's Andrew who makes the team not me but that's what I would choose um, I, th I think O'Reilly's better when you allow him to go forward Aaron Moy's very good defensively he can go forward as well but we've got a six a, a what six foot six foot odd central midfielder that can play defensive midfield and that's his position and instead of playing him in my playing a centre mid out of position to play defensive football that he, can't, that he doesn't do we're playing we're not playing an actual defensive midfielder we're playing a central midfielder at CDM instead of an actual CDM you know that's like playing it, it might sound stupid but it'd be playing Jorginho at CDM instead of playing Kante who is a CDM it's the same situation Kante would be playing CDM Jorginho would be playing centre mid I think tonight if we lined up with Arbold Gard O'Reilly, Hitati, we would have looked stronger in the midfield and if we actually started with Hak Sabanovic out in the left and Abada out in the right with Kyogo through him, I don't know if doing so much better but if you guys have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, ding that bell so you guys never miss that one I'll see you guys probably Saturday, maybe Sunday, maybe Monday, I don't know when but for the review against Hibs <laughs>